गुड मॉर्निंग अवर टू डेज टॉपिक इज स्टिल लाइफ लेट्स टू कट द मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द ड्राइंग पेंसिल इरेजर लॉन्ग स्केल पोस्ट कलर्स ब्रशेस पैलेट ब्लैक माइक्रो टिप पेन वन फोर्थ साइड ड्राइंग पेपर और अ ड्राइंग बुक फर्स्ट वे गॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ वन सेंटीमीटर बॉटल एंड टू अ पेज देन राइट डाउन द हेडिंग ऑन द टॉप ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड कॉर्नर राइट डाउन टू डेज डेट कीप यूर पेपर वर्टिकली एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ ड्राइंग टेक अ टू फिंगर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द अपर साइड्स एंड स्टार्ट अपर मोस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम द अपर साइड फर्स्ट वे गॉन्ट टू रफली अरेंज न ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड देन स्टार्ट अ ड्राइंग द अपर मोस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इज अ बकेट विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस लाइन first look roughly we are going to lightly we are going to draw with a 2b pencil and after finalize the uh, rough drawing we are going to finalize with the 2b pencil now this is the base for the bucket and now we are going to draw Uh, drapery from inside the bucket now here the drapery is come out from the bucket but we have to draw the full bucket that right hand side part of the bucket we can't see but for the proportion purpose we are have, have to draw a full bucket then if this is a jug steel jug and on the right side bottom of the jug is a, a tomato now we are going to draw one plate and on a plate we are going to draw one coconut now we are going to finalize this drawing with a dark pencil and erase unnecessary lines from the paper now this unnecessary part of the bucket we are going to erase it and now we only See the drapery part for this bucket. Darken all the lines of the object so that while coloring, we can color it properly. Now for all the edges of the objects, we can see easily. We give some details to the coconut. This is our full drawing. Now we are going to start the coloring. Now here I am going to apply some basic colors. Uh, i am not going to show you the basic colors plain tones of the objects that i have already show you before i am going to show you the details for co coconut i am using a uh, yellow ochre color as a base tone and now i am giving details with the brown color a uh, burnt sienna i uh, add slight amount of burnt sienna in a Uh, yellow ochre color and now i'm adding pure burnt sienna color and draw some lines now in this uh, still life 
light comes from the left hand side part so the uh, left hand part of the all objects are the highlighted and the opposite side that is the right hand side part is the shade part that's why i am adding dark tones below the objects and on a right hand side part of the objects now i am going to show a depth and the edge of the bucket the lower part of the bucket which is molded inside is a dark one because of the light and shade and also the upper line that i'm going to show you there also is a uh, come out from the bucket that is a border for the bucket and that's why it's got on a darken line so that it's we can show you the 3d effect of the objects i'm adding some middle tone to the drapery i'm using a violet color and slightly blue color combination to the drapery which come out from the bucket and i am adding some middle east slightly hawkerish uh, tone to show the dimensions for the drapery now this is an uh, uh, additional uh, object you can say for the study till now in object drawing we not uh, uh, learn uh, drapery but in still life we need to understand what is drapery and how we are going to show it in a colors that's why the folds and all the depths we have to show in a drapery for that we add some middle tones dark tones like in object drawing we are showing three and more than three tones of the colors now i am adding dark tones so that it shows a depth inside the folds i am adding slightly persian blue and brown color so that it's got a dark tone of the violet below the plate also we are going to add some dark tone so that it's got a 3d effect now in bucket we are adding some light tone while applying on a basic tone we add two tones for the bucket middle tone and dark tone that you can easily see here the left hand side part of the bucket is slightly light and uh, the right hand side part that is near to the drapery is slightly dark that we are already apply while applying on a basic tone and now i am adding some light tone now here i am using or we can say showing a more than three tones of the colors that's why i am adding two middle tones there you can easily see there Here also I am using 
two metal tones darkish metal tone and lightish metal tone for that we add some white tone in the green color we are using here uh, only the basic colors not using any tertiary or quaternary colors here so easy to understand you the color schemes when we make the designs or the any kind of composition that time i'm going to show you the application of the tertiary and quaternary colors but right now i'm using a basic tones like red yellow violet green red like colors now for the base drapery on which we uh, keep our bucket the yellow drapery we are showing a dark tone here because of that steel jug they got a dark tone there shade there and adding some orange as well as slightly yellow ochre and orange color slightly brown also but not much we require to show at least 3 to 4 tones here so right now i am using yellow ochre orange and yellow combination for more depth we use brown color there for the plate we uh, generally apply a gray color it's a white plate tone is a white but for the darken part we apply a gray color here uh, you might be look like this color is blue but it's actually a gray color i am not using a direct gray color i am making this gray color by adding a persian blue and brown color and this is the darken tone i am going to show in a inner part of the plate as you know when lights come from the left hand side part the inner part of the object from the left hand side part is darkened because the, this part didn't get a light because of the depth and that's why it's look darken or it shows a darken tone there and uh, upon this side part that is right hand side part of the depth got light showing a dark tone in a yellow drapery by adding some brown tone here light and shade is a more important in a still life and object drawing because of that we get a 3d effect trim with 3d dimension of the object as well as the roundity dimensions and the texture of the objects now all the objects are the 
opaque objects but every object has their own identity like the bucket is a matte green color as well as the uh, tomato is a glossy coconut is a rough and the steel is a glossy and the palette we are showing here is a mat that's why we didn't get a more highlight only three tones we are going to show here in a palette The most important part of the still life is the shadow. When lights come from the left hand side part, like in this Maya still life, the shadow elevates right hand side part. That is on opposite of the light. Now I am showing some highlights light tones on a drapery we are showing more than three tones in a wallet uh, drapery light middle and dark two middle tones one light tones and two dark tones now I am adding a highlight on a bucket. This is a light tone for the bucket. In bucket also we show more than three tones. Now this is the most important part of the still life. How to color a steel object? When we apply a light shadow on a steel objects, the steel object is reflect the tones of the besides objects, like uh, the reddish tone of the tomato and the yellowish tone of the drapery and you might be seeing uh, some tone of the coconut also there and on the upper part greenish tone of the bucket so the steel object is a reflective object it reflects the tones of the other besiding objects that's why the coloring of the still objects is very much different or we can say other than any uh, uh, opaque objects some dark tones in a steel job to show the dimensions We are showing 
shadows to the objects to coconut to plate and now i am adding some dark tone more dark tone in a coconut we add some more dark tone in the background of the steel object and uh, tomato Now these are some final touches for the objects. Highlights, dark tones, outlining, light shadows. starts with the background reprieve with the red tone we apply pink color as a base tone for the background reprieve and now we adding some dark tone with the red when we apply a dark tone on our drapery we always observe a texture of this drapery some draperies are glossy some are matte on depend on those texture we decide how to color the drapery now in this uh, still life i am using both glossy and matte drapery the background drapery is slightly glossy and uh, drapery come out from the bucket is also glossy but it's a thick drapery that's why it's got an a uh, highlight and some more light tones and the uh, yellow drapery is a matte drapery that's why it's got only three tones the most important part of the still life is light and shadow from where the light is come out to from where the shadow is put and the reflections of the other objects arrangement of the drawing on a paper these are the more important tips for the still life
I think we are completing our full still life with the coloring. And now I am adding some final touch up, final dark tones on the still life. Hope you understand how to draw still life, how to color paint with the poster colors. And keep making us still lives is very much useful for you to study thank you best of luck